Where the flavor in whiskey comes from. Moonshine Life Recipes Group by J.B. Wagonmaker. Ask a whiskey distiller to tell you where the flavor in whiskey comes from, and they'll likely talk about oak barrels for a while, maybe give you some detail about their stills. Fermentation may come into it, but precious few will talk about the grain, whiskey's humble raw material, too often taken for granted. That's because, for the past few decades at least, efficiency has trumped flavor when it comes to whiskey grain varieties. Change is afoot, though, as distillers have begun to rediscover long-lost varieties of grain, finding that they not only taste better, but are more sustainable, too. Rediscovered flavors. For Irish distillery Waterford, the appeal of heritage barley varieties is purely about flavor. We're natural flavor seekers, so what could be more natural than the flavors created in one's own landscape, says founder Mark Rainier. He realized that barley varieties since the early 1970s were not only genetically similar, but narrow in flavor profile, too. Fifty years of flavor evolution had been wasted. Waterford gained access to the Irish Department of Agriculture's seed bank, where it obtained the seeds of five heritage barley varieties, a 50 gram sachet of each. The distillery has since released one whiskey made from one of these varieties, Hunter. It's like a real glimpse into a golden age, says Rainier. What I find exciting is discovering the long-lost flavors from varieties that grew and evolved from our own Irish terroirs, microclimates and farms. It's certainly not the path of least resistance. The older varieties don't work well with modern farming methods and fertilizers. We find the old ways, organic and biodynamic farming methods, work much better with these old varieties, says Rainier, who also points out that it takes four or five years to grow that 50 grams sachet of seeds into 50 barrels, worth. You have to really want to do it. In the few years of East London Liquor Co's existence, the team has experimented with a number of barley varieties, but heritage variety Maris Otter has always stood out. It's become the primary barley variety used. The benefit is entirely about flavor, says founder Alex Wolpert. Maris Otter was big in the 1950s and 60s, but people realized they could grow grain that was taller with higher yields, so it was discontinued, he adds. It's about the texture and flavor that it gives, with a bready, buttery profile, which is a great base to then add some cask influence, it gives the whiskey something pretty special. In Scotland's capital, Edinburgh, Holyrood Distillery makes use of a number of heritage barley varieties. They provide us with new flavors that we just don't get from today's distilling malts, says assistant distillery manager Callum Ray. Each variety has unique characteristics that can drastically change the texture and flavor of our spirit. They give us a really strong, flavorful foundation. While its single malt whiskey matures, Holyrood has bottled various spirits that give an insight into what its eventual whiskey will be like, but also showcase the characteristics of these barley varieties. Its charmed circle range consists of two single varietal spirits, unaged with only water and neutral spirit added. Chevalier and Golden Promise are legendary malts. When you taste both charmed circle expressions side by side, they are markedly different, both in flavor and texture, says Ray. Callum Ray, Holyrood Distillery. Rye and Corn. In the U.S., meanwhile, producers are working to revive heritage varieties of rye. Among them is Laura Fields, founder of the Delaware Valley Fields Foundation, who has helped to revive heritage rye variety Rosen. I wasn't sure what kinds of flavors Rosen would create in a finished whiskey, she says. After four years of propagating and replanting the seeds, we were thrilled to see that it was worth all our efforts. We were struck by how much sweeter and more nuanced it was. Corn, bourbon's core component, has a rich array of heritage varieties to explore and resurrect, too. Alan Bishop, head distiller at Spirits of French Lick, has been working with heirloom corn varieties for nearly two decades in Indiana, eventually breeding two strains of his own. The benefits from a flavor standpoint are immense, he says. 
Like most vegetables, we have bred the flavor and character out of most modern corns. Corn could and potentially should be given the same treatment as apples or grapes or in distillation. In Kentucky, New Riff Distilling makes use of various heirloom grains, across corn, rye, wheat and barley, for a range of limited edition whiskies. They deliver different, often superior, aromas and flavors to modern grains. As grains are modernized or developed over the years, they often leave behind elements of flavor that were treasured in the past, says co-founder and global brand ambassador Jay Arisman. We're thrilled to work in this vein, restoring and preserving these flavors in whiskey for generations to come. Sustainable spirits, heritage varieties might make better whiskey, but John Letts, head of farming and archaeobotanist at the Oxford Artisan Distillery, believes that these grains are beneficial in other ways, too. They bring complexity of flavor to the spirit, and can be grown without agri-chemicals, so in a much more sustainable and carbon-negative way than modern grains, he says. Let's grows populations of heritage grains that are genetically diverse, which provide both resilience and flavor, he explains, adding that these are better able to deal with poor weather, and can adapt to climate change. Ray at Holyrood acknowledges these further benefits, too. Environmentally speaking, these varieties are totally natural products. They haven't been genetically engineered for higher yields, they are as they have always been, he says. They are adapted to grow in certain conditions and regions, which means they often require less water, fertilizers and pesticides to ensure a good harvest, Ray explains and some varieties have shown a strong resistance to diseases that affect more modern strains. They make a great story, but they make even better whiskey, adds Fields. And as these grains find success, so does the local grain supply chain, the local farmer, and the soil itself. And as Arisman puts it, we are promoting biodiversity and preserving flavors for future generations. Five great heritage grain spirits to try. East London Liquor Company Single Malt Whiskey, England. To see what Maris Otter can do, look no further than ELLC's Single Malt, made with Norfolk barley and aged in New American Oak, ex-Bourbon and French Oak casks. Light apricot and clementine, sweet puffed oats and a touch of spice. Alcohol 47%, Holyrood Distillery New Make Maris Otter, Scotland. While we wait for Holyrood's Single Malt, the Edinburgh distillery is offering glimpses into the future with its new make series. A solo performance here from just one of the heritage varieties used, with about a year and a half in a former Oloroso hogshead, there's R. Eason alongside raspberry fruit, caramel latte and bitter toffee. ALC 50%. Jephtha Creed Straight 4 Grain Bourbon. U.S. Heirloom Corn Variety Bloody Butcher with its violent red color and history dating back to the 1800s, is the star of the show here, supported by malted rye, wheat and barley. Not your run-of-the-mill bourbon, this Kentucky-made spirit features notes of waxy sandalwood and herbaceous sage alongside some malts or like richness and a spicy, mouthwatering finish. ALC 49% Oxford Rye Whiskey 2018 Harvest England like previous Oxford Artisan Rye releases, this latest is produced from sustainably farmed populations of heritage grain, mainly maslin, rye and wheat grown together, with some malted barley, too. Aged in both American oak casks and former wine barrels, there's a nutty, shortbread character to this, alongside vanilla, woody spice and a candied sweetness. ALC 50% Waterford Heritage Hunter, Ireland Pioneering Irish distillery Waterford shines a light on the barley used to make its whiskies in a variety of interesting ways, including single farm bottlings, biodynamic whiskies and more. For this heritage release, part of its Arcadian farm origin range, it has brought the Hunter Barley variety back from near extinction to create a whiskey with brisk pine needle and clove leading to juicy, mouthwatering orange, raisin and milk chocolate. ALC 50%. Cheers. Moonshine Life Recipes Group.